morning everyone it's tarnished treasures and i went thrifting so let me share with you what i purchased i found a whole stack of victoria magazines but they were three dollars a piece so i quickly looked through them and i chose this one to buy and i had flipped through and i thought that there were some good inspirational pages in there that one is june 1998 and then funny enough on the other side of the same little stand there was this one that was marked at 75 cents, which was a great deal. So I picked that one up, and this one is from April 1995. And then I also found uh, two books. This book was $1.29, and it's called Modern Country, Reinterpreting a Classic Style. It is from 2006, and originally it says it was $35. So I just thought that that sounded um, right up my alley. And I barely looked at it. I just kind of flipped through it. And I said, yeah, I see some cool vintage pieces and colors I like. So I think that I'll like to look through that book there. And that one is by Nancy Ingram and M.J. Van Deventer. And the other book I found for $1.99 is by Martha Stewart from 2002. Good Things from Tag Sales and Flea Markets, Home Decorating Ideas and Creative Projects for All Your Tag Sale Finds and Treasures. So that one sounded up my alley, and it's really good. What's nice is that there's a whole section or different sections about how to clean things, how to identify things. So besides just uh, like a creative craft book, there is some helpful hints so the um, section that I was really drawn to was the one on linens let's see where are we let me just go to the first page of it here we go so they're calling it uh, or she calls it fabrics and notions section and here it has different fabrics and weaves this little part here it says the presence of an initial or a monogram on hand towels signifies top quality fabric but the specific letters do not necessarily matter. If you think of a monogram simply as a pleasing graphic design, then you can make it work for you. And that's exactly what I do. I don't care what it is. I just really love the pattern and the design. And while I was thrifting, I found a really nice monogrammed hand towel. I found this extremely large hand towel that has a beautiful H on it. And I paid $2.80. And according to Miss Martha, we have a damask fabric here. Isn't that monogram fabulous? On this page, she's saying to use a tea towel to make a pillow. So she's got the red and white tea towels here, a seat cushion, and even a shade for a light fixture. And Martha Stewart is the one that I got the idea from to make the stockings out of the tablecloth with the red and white design. And that's when I said, if I ever find red and white, buy it. So I found a set of five napkins and these were $2.80 also. I'm just going to keep these as is, use them as napkins because they're in great shape and add them to my hutch um, where I have my other linens displayed, but then I also use them as well. So I was really happy to find them. And this book is just really nice. Also in this chapter, it talks um, about how to care for the fabrics as well, how to wash them, how to get stains out. Some of these ways are ways that people have suggested in comments in previous videos, boiling things, um, using Clorox 2 or Biz. I know a lot of people like OxyClean. Talking about uh, if it's heavy, don't hang it to dry because it'll stretch, lay it to dry. And then there's other great ideas that I'll just show you very quickly. Um, I liked this one of using the belt buckles as picture frames because I do have quite a few of these and not really exactly sure how to repurpose them. And I love the mother of pearl one there. I just have the, the books tucked in to, <laughs> to keep my place. And this uh, chapter is about just kitchen cooking utensils and look there's an oven x pan and she's just using the german candle clips for christmas trees to have three candles and then a simple silk bow i mean how beautiful is that glow 
They're just arranged so pretty. I wish I had a space in my kitchen where I had all that wall space. But such a simple project. That actually looks like a little jelly roll pan there. Put that on my thrifting list. I picked up this box of Clip-On Cafe curtain rod rings for $1.50. And they were brand new in the package. And these are just really nice to use. They just, you don't even have to worry about stuff slipping off. You just pinch them and it grabs the fabric and that quick you can have a curtain. So I usually put my um, piano shawls up over the windows in like spring and summer and these might work better than what I was using. It just takes a second to clip on like that. And for my piano shawl, they have some crocheted edge so I can actually just put that right through the hole and it won't do any damage and actually as I'm saying that I'm thinking about the chapter about linens in Martha Stewart's book and she had said and this is validation for us who like to change out our curtains and our bedspreads she said that these vintage linens are fragile and that you know for half of the year maybe you should use them and display them and the other half you should put them away to extend their life meaning put out another vintage quilt that you have or other vintage uh <laughs> curtains and it will extend the life they won't fade as much and then it gives you the reason to redecorate a few times a year if any of us needed an excuse and I paid $10 for this piece, but I think it is absolutely amazing. It actually kind of looks like a batik to me, but I think that's just the age on it. So it is a fabric book. It says Rag Book 206, United Kingdom. Actually, I don't know if that's what it says underneath, but I know it says that on the back. Dean's Rag Books. I'm trying to see. Quite indestructible. Printed in the United Kingdom. I'm patented, I want to say USA. I'm trying to read it all. Entirely British manufacture. Okay. Registered something or other. Very, very hard to read, but I wanted to try and Try and share everything it said. Doesn't that look like it says USA? Patented USA. Okay, so why did I buy it? Oh, I just think the images are amazing. And this could be something that would be really neat to turn into some small doll quilt for a doll bed or a wall hanging. So first of all, let's, took, let's take a look at this font for the numbers. Amazing. I just love how the red is still so brilliant and everything else is slightly faded and it's these lines that are supposed to be there but then with this it just gives it that batik look to me i think even here where there's an outline and then the ink doesn't fully fill it in so this this will i think this is all i have to share anyway so we'll just look at this until the end of the video so it says one it's got a roman numeral and the word these cats with bow ties a little addition problem and then add the little dice or the domino little bunnies on the toy eggs and blocks but isn't it funny how deep the red and how intense it still is We've got some ducks or geese with hats on. They're all dressed up. I love the carrots. And these pages I really love. The dolls, the butterflies, the little stools, the birds, the mice, the little pictures hanging with the chalkboard. It's adorable. I don't see a date. I don't see Roman numerals. I'll try and find it if there is a date on it. But And then look at 
like these little chicks. Like their long necks. The cherries. Those pepper grinders. And then these little elves like on the clocks. On a clock, just I thought it was adorable. Looks like this book would be anywhere from 1903 to 1915. And when you look up Dean's Rag Book or Dean's Rag Book Company, in about 1915, they started making teddy bears. And then I think exclusively in 1988, just was making collectible teddy bears. And it said that they were the first company that was licensed to make Mickey Mouse and Pluto. Interesting. So 1903 to 1915 is when this would date. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed seeing the treasures and I'll see you in another video. Bye.